Well, there's a saying in Chinese saying, uh, may you live in interesting times. And uh, from what we've seen in the last few weeks, the times between uh, China and Greece with all those recent developments have definitely been very, very interesting. So without further ado, I'd like to call to the panel Her Excellency, uh, the Ambassador of the People's Republic of China, Mrs. Sang Tzu Yue, who can enlighten us on what has been happening in the last few weeks and give us her insights on the Greek-Chinese relationship. Your Excellency, the, the panel is yours. The honorable uh, ministers and uh, distinguished uh, fellow ambassadors and uh, distinguished uh, leaders of uh, Greek industries, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, uh, dear guests, good afternoon. Well, first of all, let me say I'm always very happy to be back in the Saloniki city and always each time there are Surprises, good surprises. Like yesterday, uh, Athens, there was a heavy uh, rainstorm. And uh, when I arrived and uh, when uh, we uh, stepped down the plane, we see the sunshine. So it was very, very uh, happy uh, to, to have the sunshine arranged for all of the participants. Uh, first of all, let me uh, congratulate uh, the president of the uh, Federation of Industries of Greece, uh, President Savakis and also uh, Chairman Simon Tsumokos uh, for successfully organizing the fourth, the Saloniki Summit. And I think it has proved that uh, this summit has been uh, quite a success given the uh, high representations at this uh, summit. Uh, and also I wanted to uh, thank you for actually uh, adding uh, a special uh, topic uh, in the discussions, which is entitled Looking to the East. I think it's probably for the first time since the, uh, the past four years that we have a special topic on looking to the East. Uh, actually, this week, not only I think we should look at the, to the East, but also the East came to the West. As you probably have all read that uh, on Monday and Tuesday, uh, my president, President Xi Jinping, uh, came to Athens on a state visit. I would say that the visit was a, a big success. And he actually, uh, on his trip, this is the only European country, and actually it's really the first leg of uh, two countries. He is now in Brazil uh, attending the BRICS summit. And uh, this is an, uh, an, a state visit an official visit, and this kind of a state visit between our two countries has not happened for 11 years. So it has been quite a, a, a while before we have a, a real a state visit. And this visit uh, took place only a week after Prime Minister Mitsotakis was in Shanghai attending the second International Import Expo. Uh, and uh, that visit uh, proved to be a big success as well because uh, uh, Prime Minister Mitsotakis uh, took a very big business delegation. I believe that uh, about 70 or 80 uh, businesses uh, went to Shanghai with him and uh, the uh, result uh, of the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, the trading uh, result was also very, very good, very successful. And uh, I believe that uh, this visit, uh, after many, many talks and uh, uh, discussions between the leaders of our two countries, really opened a new chapter in the relationship between our two countries. I think if we can say it very uh, briefly, that it has strengthened our bilateral relationship, it has strengthened relations between uh, China and EU, and it has once again continued and launched the discussions between uh, ancient civilizations and also uh, the exchanges between civilizations in the East and in the West. At the end of the visit, uh, the two sides have issued a joint statement uh, stressing the, their commitment to strengthening the comprehensive strategic partnership. And together with the Prime Minister Mitsotakis, 
the two leaders have witnessed the signing of 16 agreements, both governmental and also uh, commercial and business and cultural. Uh, actually, you know, when, whenever we prepare for a visit of this size and of this scale, uh, it is usually uh, a big work for embassies to prepare for the outcome of this kind of visit, you know, commercial contracts or agreements. It's a big job. But in this case, in the case between uh, China and Greece, actually we, our main headache or our main problem is that we have too many contracts to be signed. So one of the um, worries that I had was to how am I going to restrict the number of uh, agreements that will be signed given the limited time of our leaders. And at the end, uh, they have witnessed the, the signing of 16 agreements. I think all of them and each of them is of great significance. And it's uh, not only just a business or governmental agreement, but it really points to the direction uh, to which we will uh, move ahead. Our bilateral relations will move ahead. I'll just give you a few examples. I think it's important uh, to know these outcomes uh, that have come out of these uh, state visit. Uh, one relating to uh, culture and tourism. As you know, the tourism industry is a very important industry, both for you and uh, also for us. And it's a very uh, clean and green industry. Uh, we have announced at the end of the visit that uh, the two sides have agreed that 2021 will be the year of Greek and China year of culture and tourism. So that will also uh, combine with your celebrations of 2021, 200 anniversary, 200 years of anniversary of independence. And so I think we will have a lot of events uh, scheduled in the coming uh, year. Uh, and uh, with this, we are hoping to also attract a lot of tourists. Uh, so there was also an MOU uh, signed on uh, aeronautical authorities, uh, a cooperation between the aeronautical authorities to open way for more flights between our two countries, whether it's Chinese flights, uh, Greek uh, uh, companies or European companies, uh, for our two governments, we would like to encourage more direct flights between our two countries. And actually, it was also announced that uh, Greece will open a consulate general, a consul general, consulate general in Chengdu, uh, Sichuan province. Sichuan, many of you are not so familiar, but that's the birthplace of uh, pandas. Uh, the pandas all are uh, concentrated in the Sichuan. So I know that this is an adorable animal that everybody likes. Uh, so now, next year, when there is a direct flight, it will be very easy for you to visit the pandas. Uh, so there will be, uh, that's also very important. You know, panda also, uh, the Sichuan province and uh, it's, um, uh, the neighborhood has a very big population. Uh, the Sichuan province itself has more, has a population of more than 100 million people. So it's also a big center of consumption as well. And uh, so uh, also the good news is that uh, next year, it will probably be the 1st of July, there will be a direct flight opened between Shanghai and Athens. We already have uh, direct flights between Athens and Beijing, uh, but we hope to have uh, Shanghai and Athens, which, which I think will facilitate the uh, cooperation and the discussions between businesses. Um, and on the commercial side, I just wanted to uh, give you a few examples. For example, uh, uh, they witnessed the signing of uh, an agreement to implement uh, the master plan of the Piraeus port. Uh, so with this uh, agreement, uh, as you know that about uh, months ago that uh, this government has approved uh, the master plan for the future development or the second stage development of Piraeus port, and the Chinese company Costco Shipping is going to commit about um, 600, 611 million uh, US dollars to the further expansion of the Pirates port. And, uh, and so with this uh, in, in, uh, new investment, I think we'll see even bigger development of Pirates port. I think probably many of you have uh, uh, followed the statement by Prime Minister Mizutakis when he was in Shanghai, he said, uh, we were not only, we're not only very happy to see that today the Pirates port, uh, as far as containers is concerned, is already the number one port in Mediterranean, 
but we're hoping to uh, achieve uh, the goal of making the pirate port as one of the top European ports in the coming years. And another example I wanted to show you is the, uh, we, this time we signed two protocols on the uh, facilitation of export of uh, agricultural products to uh, China. Uh, the, the two uh, products that are specific, specified is one is the saffron, uh, the other is the kiwi uh, fruit. As you all know, the saffron uh, is only produced in this region, and uh, I'm sure the farmers are very happy uh, to hear uh, about this because uh, once you have the, the Chinese market, I don't think you have much worry uh, about uh, the uh, export. And so I think that is also it shows the importance of uh, uh, agricultural cooperation because actually in the joint statement we have not only talked about the export of uh, agricultural products but also uh, common and join the research on agricultural uh, technology uh, on the, uh, uh, the the maintenance of food and also um, policies uh, coordination relating to agriculture and another important area is, is that uh, during the visit, it was announced that uh, uh, the Bank of China, which is a commercial, very strong commercial bank, uh, is very soon going to set up a branch in Athens. And also the ICBC Bank, which is the number one uh, bank in the world, uh, will very soon set up a representative office. So they're here not only to support the Chinese uh, companies, but also to support the uh, Greek uh, companies uh, here. And there is another important area I wanted to mention that is in the area of new and renewable energy. Just to give you an example that one agreement was signed relating to the concentrating uh, solar power uh, in the Crete Island. And this uh, project will use the, uh, the most advanced technology so it will mitigate pollution, high pollution, high cost that has been uh, caused by uh, coal burning and it would deliver clean, stable, and green uh, power and electricity uh, to uh, the Creighton Island. And I think that would be a very, very uh, useful uh, project, a very good project. And they have also agreed to uh, build on the open global economy, and uh, they will also uh, you know, maintain good cooperation in international organizations like uh, WTO and uh, other uh, organizations. So what I wanted to stress is that I think with these uh, frequent high visits, I think our bilateral relationship are entering a new stage, a new era, and I think the cooperation will be more um, uh, extensive and more in depth. And uh, just now, I think at, at, th as this meeting, at this meeting, most people are talking about the challenges that we face. I think it's also important to say and to stress that there are great opportunities that we also uh, face uh, in the coming years uh, as both the bilateral relationship uh, grows. Also, I think there are many more uh, platforms and uh, mechanisms that we can use of course, uh, many of our cooperations can be carried out within the context of the Belt and Road Initiative. And also, uh, since April this year, Greece became a full member of what we will call the 17 plus one. It's the cooperation mechanism between China and uh, uh, Eastern and um, uh, the uh, Southern uh, European uh, countries. So as far as uh, Saloniki and this region is concerned, I think you, you are very advantageously uh, located uh, in, the, in the right uh, place. And I think you could make very good use of these opportunities created uh, in recent years. So I think this region will not only be a strong engine, engine of development for our bilateral relationship, but it will also play a very important role in our relations with the uh, uh, Balkans uh, within the context of 17 plus one, within the context of one belt, one road, and in the cooperation between China and the EU. Uh, so I would very much encourage all of you, especially the businesses, to uh, really tap the uh, new opportunities, to um, uh, tap the new potentials, because I see that there will be uh, 
uh, there is really a lot of uh, new opportunities, fresh uh, opportunities. As I see uh, on the podium here that uh, the uh, acronym uh, comes to see changes. So at the end, in concluding, I wanted to say that I hope we do not only see changes, we see opportunities, and also we see a great future in win-win cooperation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. And um, I would like to bring the discussion to the regional level. You mentioned, you said a lot about the bilateral agreements, a lot of the interesting things happening. But I would like to ask you a question regarding this specific area. You mentioned Saffron, you mentioned the One Belt, One Road initiative. What are the specific plans from China in regards to this area, to the Saloniki and the surrounding area? Uh, well, I think, as I said, I think the cooperation is uh, very extensive. Uh, they, um, we, there are almost all the sectors we can discuss. I think one of the uh, features of the One Belt and One Road initiative is about a common discussion, uh, common agreement. So I think as to the sectors of uh, cooperation, it depends on uh, what this area really needs. As I mentioned, of course, agriculture is one area. Uh, I think infrastructure developing is one area. I would say uh, new and renewable energy, you know, clean environment, that's also another area. And telecommunications and uh, also uh, research. Uh, as this area has very good universities and research centers, I think uh, the government is also building uh, and constructing uh, an innovation center in this area. I think that could also be an area that we can uh, work uh, on. Uh, so, and also tourism. I think uh, this area also has uh, many historical and cultural relics and uh, places, uh, interesting places to see. So we would also like to encourage uh, tourists and uh, students uh, to come to this area. In other words, the uh, scope of cooperation is very wide and uh, I see a great potential in uh, the develop development of this, uh, you know, in, in this area between the Saloniki and the bigger area in North uh, Greece and China. And you mentioned, uh, you talked about a lot about culture. I would like to focus on business culture and I understand that plays a big role in bilateral relationships. So what would be your advice to the business people in this room and not only in this room in regards to cooperating with Chinese companies and China in general? Well, yes, I think I must say that uh, uh, it takes two to a business. Uh, on the Chinese side, I think there is very strong interest uh, from the Chinese companies to come to uh, this part of Europe uh, to invest and also to uh, uh, carry out uh, business act activities. I think especially after the such a successful visit by President Xi and also the su successful visit of uh, Prime Minister Mizutaki to Shanghai, uh, these days uh, Greece is very much in the Chinese news. Everybody uh, has learned that uh, there is such a you know, friend uh, and, and uh, a partner uh, in uh, South Europe. And so many, many uh, companies are coming uh, and are really looking into uh, possibilities. And uh, for the Greek and uh, this uh, local businesses, I hope you also uh, promote yourself more. Uh, I think it's a good opportunity to, for example, to go to uh, China to uh, uh, attend or participate in the uh, di discussions and forums and uh, expositions. And uh, actually, uh, as far as the mechanism of 17 plus one is concerned, uh, we are together with the other countries in this region creating many platforms of cooperation. For example, apart from the Shanghai Import Expo, every June, uh, in, Ningbo province, in Ningbo city, Zhejiang province, there is an uh, exposition uh, for import and export uh, just devoted to uh, the 17 other countries uh, between the 17 plus one. Uh, so there are many other opportunities. So I just hope that uh, the businesses will be a little bit more aggressive in promoting yourselves. And also uh, if you cannot visit China uh, easily, you can, uh, I hope you have more promotion on the website, uh, on the internet, because today the Chinese businesses, the young people, the entrepreneurs very much use the uh, website uh, as uh, a source of information. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, and may we keep on living in interesting times. Yes, well, I, I'm sure, yes, thank you.
Carmelo.